Describe your pain on a scale from 1 to 10. What does that even mean? Doctors and nurses use the 0 to 10 pain scale to help define how much pain a patient is experiencing. Unfortunately, what constitutes a certain level of pain varies widely. One person might describe the pain as 2 out of 10, while another might describe the same amount of pain as an 8 out of 10. What do the numbers really mean? In this video, we will try to better describe what these numbers mean in order to improve communication between healthcare providers and patients experiencing pain. The 0 to 10 pain scale can be either a visual scale or simply a numeric scale. The visual scale uses a photo or standardized measurement, such as a 10 centimeter strip to help the patient choose where on the scale their pain lies. The numeric rating scale simply uses a 0 to 10 number range with 0 indicating no pain and 10 indicating the worst pain imaginable. A person that is in no pain has 0 out of 10 pain. This person is pain free and feeling perfectly normal. The next category of pain is minor pain. This can be described as 1 out of 10 pain, which is very mild, 2 out of 10 pain, which is mildly discomforting, and 3 out of 10 pain, which is present but tolerable. This type of pain generally is nagging and annoying, but doesn't interfere with most daily living activities. Patients are able to adapt to the pain psychologically and with medication or devices such as cushions. The next category of pain is moderate pain. This is described as uh, pain that interferes significantly with daily living activities. It requires lifestyle changes, but the patient remains independent. They are unable to adapt to the pain, however. A 4 out of 10 pain would be distressing, 5 out of 10 would be very distressing, and 6 out of 10 would be intense. Generally, someone that's in 5 to 6 out of 10 pain would find it difficult to be able to go to work or uh, recreational activities and be able to function adequately. At 6 out of 10, they're generally not going to be able to participate in these activities and would probably be able to do very little even around the house. The next category of pain is severe pain. These, this is the 7 to 10 range. A 7 out of 10 is very intense. An 8 out of 10 is utterly horrible. A 9 out of 10 is excruciatingly unbearable. And a 10 out of 10 is unimaginable or unspeakable pain. With these levels of pain, the person is essentially disabled. They're unable to perform their activities of daily living, such as bathing themselves, dressing themselves, uh, preparing meals, uh, going about daily activities such as running any sort of errands. They're unable to engage in normal activities. With this severe level of pain, the person is disabled and unable to function independently. Generally, when a doctor or other health care provider thinks of 10 out of 10 pain, they're thinking of pain that is severe, such as that when someone falls and breaks a bone or has a severe trauma. Someone who is able to walk into an office, sit down comfortably, talk on a cell phone, hold a conversation, smile, laugh, or participate in other social activities without much or any sign of distress or discomfort is generally not going to be in 10 out of 10 pain or even 7 or 8 out of 10 pain in most cases. In fact, when someone who appears to be in no apparent distress or discomfort and is able to walk, move about, carry about their daily activities, talk on the phone, communicate with no significant uh, distress at all. When that person describes their pain as a 8 or 9 or 10 out of 10, that raises concerns in the health care provider's mind that this person might be 
magnifying their pain for some secondary gain purpose. They may be having psychological issues such as anxiety, depression, or other psychiatric issues that cause them to perceive pain in a magnified or out of proportion manner. Uh, they, are all, they also may be suffering from somatization or catastrophization, which are other psychological issues that cause psychological problems to manifest or uh, present with physical complaints or symptoms not supported by anatomical or true physiologic problems. Other reasons someone that is in no distress might uh, describe their pain very high is in attempt to obtain narcotics or uh, strong pain medications. Uh, this is known as drug-seeking behavior. So all of these things come to, come to the physician or health practitioner's mind when they hear someone describe very high levels of pain but that person doesn't present any physical evidence that would be uh, consistent with such a high level of pain. Usually, however, the problem isn't that someone is drug seeking or they have major psychological issues magnifying their pain or they're faking or trying to magnify their pain for secondary gain. Usually the problem is very simply that the individual being asked does not understand the pain scale. What is a zero? What is a four? What is an eight, nine, or ten? What most people do not realize and many healthcare providers don't realize is that even a three out of ten pain is although tolerable, uh, is a level that has significant impact on the person's quality of life. So once we've identified and standardized the understanding of what the zero to 10 pain scale represents, we try to get the pain level down to a three or below so that the person can have optimal pain control with optimal quality of life as well.